In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create and set up a silent live stream. It's easy and simple to set up. The first thing I want to do is to create our silent live stream video. To do that, we are going to be using Canva for it. We're going to be picking a video doc type and we are going to be using the mobile video. We are going to come over to the elements tab on the side panel here and search for satisfying. And we're going to come over under here where it says video or we'll click or this one does it see or for this we're going to pick this video so this is the video we'll be using and we're going to come back here and search for surprised emoji and we'll be using the filter here to filter it by animated we're going under the graphics tab I will be using this cool and certain emoji. Let's place that we want it to be on our video. Now let's search for please subscribe still under the elements tab and we're going to be using graphics too and we will filter by animated. I think I like this one and let's position that where we want it to be in our video. Now let's go back to a new tab. We're looking for a sound effect we want to use and we'll type Swinging sound effect. It's going to bring out sound effect from Pixabay. Pixabay gives us copyright free sound effects that we can use in our video. You might want to play each of these sound effects to so see the one that suits what it is you are doing. So this is the one I'll be going for. Once you are happy with the sound, click on download. I'm going to go back to Canva and I'm going to import that sound effect we just downloaded now into our design let's go to upload and come over to our audio tab add our sound effect now we'll be using the beat sync to sync it to our video we we'll sync it the point here is to find videos that you can play or repeat so if we click on our video here i will click on playback i will say play or repeat I will preview the video to know how it plays or repeats. Once we are happy with our video, we are going to click on share button here and click on download. You might want to download your video in the highest quality. Yeah, and click on download. When you have your downloaded video ready, let's go to a new tab and type restream. We are going to click on this one that first came up. So when you come over to Restream, it's going to prompt you to sign up for free. So what I'm going to do is to log into my account since I already have an account. When you come into your Restream, this is where live streams you've created before. We need. This is the one I've created. But if you've not created any one, you're going to see here blank and it's going to say new stream, which is what you're going to click on. Now we are going to use the Restream Studio. We're not going to use this or this. These are options of what you can do here. We're going to use the Restream Studio. So when you click on that, you have option to mute yourself and turn off the camera of your video. You're going to type in your name here. We'll click on Elder Studio. This is your interface that you'll be working with. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we are working with a portrait video, which is the straight one, because we want to get views from people that are constantly scrolling on the YouTube Shorts page. So we want to click on portrait orientation. Here we want to click on this plus sign and click on show more. And we'll click on where it says local video. We'll upload this video we've worked on in Canva. Let's close this out. You want to click these three dots here. And you see where it says loop video. You can loop the video. Let's go back to the three dots. Our video is looped. Let's increase the volume of our videos. At any point you want to, you can come back to this three dots and replace this video. If you want to add more video or replace the video you are sharing on your live stream. Let's go back. And once you're done setting this up, there are also other settings you can set. You can add QR code for people to scan. You can add music from here. You can add background layout from here. You can add various things to your live stream from this bar. Make sure it's plain, it's not paused when you go live. Because this is a satisfying video, beautiful to watch because it's loop and people are interacting thinking that it's an endless cycle of the ball scrolling. So once you're done setting all this up, you can choose to schedule your live stream. You can choose to go live. Let's go with the option of going live. 
it will ask you to add the title of your live stream and i'm going to add description if i have one it's optional but the title is composite you can also add thumbnail click on next so you're going to choose the channels you want it to stream to so you have the option to connect it to your facebook account to your youtube to your tweets to twitter and you can add more channels that you want to stream to for the purpose of this video, we are connecting it to a YouTube account if we want to gain watch hours from this live stream. I'm going to click on channel, connect YouTube, which will open up this interface and bring out all the YouTube accounts that you have on this email address. You can now have the option to choose which of these accounts and things you want to connect. Let me pick this account. Continue. So it says something went through. I knew what went through because this account has zero subscribers. You have to have up to 50 subscribers to stream on YouTube. So when you connect your account and you show you have your 50 subscribers, your stream must have been live. You just allow it play and play and play. If you go to the option of schedule, it's still the same process. You upload your thumbnail. You schedule when you want your life to be. If it's an event, you create an event page on social media. So all this you can do with the schedule. Next, you now connect your account. Please note that you can go through all this process if you use only your phone to create content. Just use the browser in your phone. And on that thing to notice that the longer you stream, the more likelihood you're going to get to watch hours from it. So you can stream up to 11 hours plus, but not more than 12 hours on YouTube. Before you click out, one thing I want you to know, I didn't say it from the beginning, is that silent live stream are good. I will boost your channel watch hours. But here is a downside of it. If you're streaming videos that have nothing to do with what you do on your channel, it's going to come back and haunt you. One, because you're gaining audience that have nothing to do with what you create videos for you're just banging audience because you need watch hour it's good to get this watch hour but i would advise you to weigh your options if your options is that you want to get to watch hour and no matter where the watch hour is coming from whether they are coming from the audience that watch your long form videos then that would be fine but if you're looking for people that would stay committed to your long form videos I would advise you to stream your own videos so record your own videos just like we created this video with canva record your own videos and use this process to stream it but if you don't care where your viewers or watch hour come from you just want to get watch hour by any means possible then using any video it's good for you but it will come back to hurt your channel let me know what you think in the comment section like this video if you got value from it Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Do have a good one.